Okay, you you mentioned that the court decision today was a win. It didn't it didn't sound from the president's tweets this morning that he viewed it that way. Has has his thinking on it changed as he's had more time to digest? No, the president uh, was making a general point about deference um, on the principle of absolute immunity, um, which is the posture that the admit that the president took in court. Um, you know, he believes there should have been more deference there. Uh, Justice Alito, citing the Harvard Law Review, made a very good point that constitutionally speaking, the president never sleeps. The president must be ready at a moment's notice to do whatever it takes to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution and the American people. And we wish there would have been more deference to that point of view. But it is a big win, as Justice Kavanaugh noted, that all nine justices said this needs to be remanded back to the lower court, um, and that, in fact, uh, the attorney, Cy Vance, uh, had not established his ability to secure access to those records. Instead, further proceedings are required. Giving, giving the opportunity for the U.S. Attorney in New York to look at those documents is no doubt not something the President is happy about. I'm wondering, in general, if after this ruling and the ruling on DACA, the ruling on LGBT rights, the ruling on the census, um, whether the president regrets at all his criticism of, of judges, in particular Justice uh, Roberts. Justice no, I think what the president, uh, what has un been underscored to him after all of these uh, rulings is that, you know, he we need more conservative justices on the court. I mean, that's something he's very strong about it, uh, prompted him to say he'll release a list of more conservative justices he wants on the court. So I think that's been the big takeaway, uh, not particularly with regard to this ruling, but with the previous ones that you mentioned.